In this video, I will demonstrate the simplest hand knit sock heel ever, tube socks. This is a video in my sock series. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. I'll link to the playlist at the end of this video. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time I go live or post a new video. If you'd like to play along and try this heel out, check out the homework in the description box below and the pattern for this sock heel also in the description box below. Tube socks are just what they sound like, tubes. So you just work a knitted tube and then add a toe at the end. If you want the sock to fit a little bit better across the heel, however, there's a trick we can do. We can add ribbing and we can make that ribbing spiral, which causes the knitted fabric to bias and makes it go around the heel curve a little bit better. So to do this, we start with a wide rib, something other than a one by one rib. We work several rounds in the ribbing and then we move the ribbing over by one stitch and work the same number of rounds in that configuration and then repeat that. And you want to repeat that for about four inches or so. This ends up making a fabric that biases so that when you wear the sock and it uncurves, it untwists, it can go around a curve a little bit better and fit your heel. Uh, this also is a great option for socks where you don't know the size of the foot of the recipient that you're making them for. You can work this ribbing in the whole entire sock. So rotating this ribbing all the way down and then work a toe at the end and a like a one by one cuff at the very top. And it will fit a wide range of sizes because there is no heel placement. The fabric will simply stretch to fit the heel wherever the wearer's heel hits. This is great for kid socks so that they can get extended wear out of the hand knit socks that you make them. This is a great option too for making taller cuffs for your socks. You work, whether you're working cuff down or toe up, you either with cuff down, you would um, work a set of decreases in the ribbing while also still moving the ribbing over um, in that spiral configuration. And this reduces the circumference while still maintaining that spiral. So that's all there is to a tube sock heel. It's really simple. Be sure to check out my other sock knitting videos. I'll link to the playlist at the end. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.